Advanced Legends at South Boston, open setups, 55 laps, getting ready to go green here. The car is real snappy, it'll get loose uh, when the tires are cold or hot, so just got to be really careful. It looks like the 8 just self spins there kind of a victim of exactly what I was just talking about. But we worked our way up to 6th here. About to go green. Started 8th. Happy with that for sure. Here we go. not exactly the most polite trunk lid I've ever seen. Six is blinking out up there, red car. Oh, I just get super loose right there, lucky to save that. and lucky to get a caution too. Later on I'm going to go back and add in the picture in picture in the bottom right hand corner to show what caused the cautions. We'll take a look at all the wrecks at the end too. So the 17 just loses it and collects a few people. Here we are getting ready to go green again. Oh, the six just loses it. Fortunate to avoid that. Picked up a few good spots too. We're going to be third, going green again. So that was the fourth caution, I think. Maybe the third. Got a good start. Third to second, pretty quick there. We're clear. Got to wait for the tires to come back in because they cooled down from pacing so much. Already at lap 20. He's about two tenths ahead of us right now. Let's see if we can close that gap a little bit. We should as the tires start to come in. Start to catch him through the center and up off. Got a good run on the outside. Tough to pass. Gives us room there to get by.
and caution lights are out. This looked like it was pretty big. Oh yeah. Five collects the 11 and the 17. Probably more people after that too. The 11, 10, a bunch of cars involved there. These cars are really tough to drive. Once you start to lose it, it's very easy to overcorrect. You're better off to just keep turning left and spin down low. Going green here, lap 32. Got a good start. As soon as the pace car's off the track and on pit road, you can go. So I try to take advantage of that and go when most people aren't really anticipating that I'm about to take off. Another caution. Looks like it's the six again. Yeah, just overcorrects. Another good restart, able to get out in front of second for good entry into turn one, hoping for a good long run here. We've got about four tenths on second, so not the biggest lead, but pretty comfortable. Can afford a mistake and still potentially not lose first. Not like the one I made earlier, though. That would that would definitely cost me a position. Still hanging out at four tenths. And caution's out. This might be the most cautions in a race I've ever been a part of. 
16 and can't tell what number car that is. They get together, do a little wheel hop. So this is a green-white checker, another good restart. One car is going to give it everything they've got for the next two turns here. Super excited to get first win at South Boston. This one was, it takes so much practice to not spin here for me. Awesome to get a win here. Let's take a look at the wrecks. There's the eight self spin. Looks like he had a good start too. A big gap he had. Ah, he just doesn't check up and taps the three. Probably got like a 2x for that. 17, getting loose, collecting a 13. Sick car caused a massive pile up there. That might have involved almost 10 cars. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six or seven at least. Thirteen gets a run up into the wall. Could have probably just gotten out of it. Five gets loose, gets the 17, the 11, the 10, I think, just does a general least on here off the front of the 17. And here comes the six again. We've seen this one. He struggled uh, with that. But I get it, I did too, I got loose, I just, I got lucky enough to save mine. Wheel hop, these are basically, these are open wheel cars basically, so you really can't, really can't door slam too much. That's what'll happen when you try to do that sometimes. Looks like the 15 wasn't super happy with whatever the 8 did. There at the end, that's it. Alright, until next time.